What's up, you hat here. Today we'll be diving into the goblin caves with one of my favorite budget builds. Here are the items that I brought. All you need is a rapier and some lightfoot boots and you are set. I brought in a green rapier because I had it laying around, but this is 100% doable with a gray or white rapier. Don't forget to grab yourself some basic bandages and potions they are cheap and they will save you. Let's get into the fun part. I don't run your average rogue build. I tend to play more aggressive and sneak is just not my style. First perk, Poison Weapon. This is great for early builds and even geared builds. I like playing a more in and out playstyle so this fits very well. Double Jump. Must I say any more, this perk just slaps. Thrust. This one is my personal favorite. Armor Pen is essential for taking down plate wearing classes. And we'll finish it off with Back Attack for those cheeky plays when people decide to run away from you. The two abilities I always take are Weak Point and Rupture. Weak Point gives a huge damage boost and greatly reduces a target's armor, along with Rupture can be a deadly lethal combo. As you notice, I take off all other armor. This is because all armor for rogues is useless unless it has beneficial stats. Movement is superior, definitely as a starter build. If you line up your attacks, you can cleave mobs easily, just like this right here. I honestly have no clue why I let myself get hit right there, but you know, shit happens. These goblins are so annoying with how they run away from you. And this is why you always bring in heals, even if you're very confident and don't think you'll ever get hit by a mob. Yeah, stuff happens, man. You get hit when you least expect it. Sitting down and resting is a friend, definitely if you're on a budget, so make sure to utilize it whenever you can. I'm going to speed up the slow boring parts a little here and there because I really 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 care about you guys. So uh, yeah, hit that like button, maybe uh, subscribe. Make sure you activate your abilities on cooldown to help clear mobs faster. They have a short cooldown so don't worry, there's no need to save them. You can easily pull the archers and kind of kite them back against their wall and just peek out and take little stabs at them. And usually you'll avoid all damage this way. I'm pretty sure I get hit somehow. Yeah, right there. I have no clue. He, he hit me through the wall. That guy's hacking. I'm going to play this out since I'm a little bit greedy because I see that little uh, heal shrine over there. Probably should have used bandages, but you know, sometimes you gotta risk it for the biscuit. You can do the same tactic for these wizards. Just pull them back here and rinse and repeat. At this moment, I notice one of the fart clouds rolling around, and it's time to go in and investigate. Notice I activated both of my abilities just to be prepared. And a first target has been spotted. This is a perfect example why a double jump is so important. All of that mobility again. This guy hits me with a couple cheeky knife throws. Should have dodged those, but you know. Trying to jab him in the head right here. And boom. Rupture kills him. And that is why we take Rupture and Weak Point. Pretty much a two shot on that guy. Got a nice little one attribute upgrade. Time to pop some juicy little heals. I end up hearing some footsteps here and then some pots breaking, so we go up here to try to get our heal off, but I think we have some bats that come out and attack us. They're really easy to deal with, you just like sidestep them whenever they charge. Not that much to worry about. We honestly couldn't ask for a better escape portal. But don't you guys worry, we ain't leaving yet. We're gonna try to get this last guy. I ended up hearing a guy fighting a mob, so I figured I'd go investigate. Lo and behold, our little rogue friend has been spotted. Oh. 
I tried to get a throwing knife off, but I couldn't line up the shot that I wanted. Looks like he's coming to us. Ooh, that would have hurt if it hit. Now we have a little battle of the throwing knives. Pretty sure we all... Oh, nope, he hit me there. He tries to go for that little cheeky play. End up stabbing him in the head. God, how many throwing knives does this guy have? We jump in for the kill. He takes a lot more hits than I was expecting, but we end up getting him. I'm pretty damn greedy, so I decided to find all the loot I can before taking one of our two extract portals. So yeah, this is really uh, sped up. <laughs> Don't worry guys, I'll show you how much gold we make at the end. Watching this video back, I realized I did not headshot that guy at the portal. So yeah. And we made it. That was a decent little come up if you ask me. 26 raw gold. End up making around 129 gold from all the little trinkets. I estimate the rings and neck will sell for around 250 gold together, so that brings us to 405 gold. I would say that is very nice. Hope you enjoyed the video. I have so much footage from this last playtest, so I will be posting as much as possible, keeping you through these dry times where we cannot play dark and darker. Peace, much love, until next time.